Good day, good day. My name is Kimberly Jones. I am the Marketing Community Outreach for Relay Bike Share. And <laughs> we launched in June 2016 with 100 bikes and 10 stations. And uh, it's been great ever since. Besides Relay, before that, in 2012, my bike story actually starts in uh, Virginia Beach, Virginia. So I used to cruise around. Uh, I loved the way the bike made me feel. It helped me focus, and it also helped me just enjoy my day. Like mid-break, I would go on a lunch ride and stuff like that. So I started riding everywhere. I felt excited, and I wanted to share that with my friends and family. So I was able to organize group rides with my mom, my friends, and we went to um, everywhere. I would take them to the beach, but of course they had all these restrictions. Girl, I'm not going out when it's too hot outside. The sun's too, I'm not going out when it's too dark. Let's just go on the bus. And I was like, we're gonna ride and we're gonna have fun. So after a couple of rides, it was, I was able to release, enjoy, and just enjoy the ride. So that really made me really enjoy seeing other people smile from riding a bike. And I was like, wow, this is awesome. So with that, I took that momentum and then I started learning how to work on bikes. I became a do-it-yourself mechanic, so I just taught myself, and that empowered me to go even further. So I just kept pedaling, just kept pedaling, because I wasn't nervous about getting a flat. I'm going 20 miles, let's do it. So <laughs> I was excited. So along with that, I was able to um, upgrade to my hybrid. So my first was a little huffy. I took the stickers off because I didn't want it to look like everybody else was huffy. So <laughs> then I upgraded, I went to the bike shop, and I got a, a you know, I was like, oh, prayed a little pity penny for this one. So I was like, this is my first real bike. So I was like, let's, let's do it. I started biking to work every day um, just because I sat at a desk. So I really valued that going out on lunch and just having that little adventure in the middle of the day. So that was really fun for me. Then Atlanta. I moved to Atlanta in 2014. Within two weeks of moving to Atlanta, I Googled the closest bike shop. I found Aztec Cycles in there. The owner must have just knew that I love bikes. I probably had like bikes in my eyes. He's like, you wanna come ride with us, MLK, 20 miles, let's do it. And I was like, I don't even have my bike here yet. What if, what if, I'm just now coming here. Well, bring your bike, you're gonna have fun. Okay, I was sold, all right? Brought my bike down, woke up at six o'clock in the morning. Oh gosh, excited though, because what, I'm about to go ride with other people that actually like to ride. This is awesome, that never happened in Virginia Beach. So I'm like, okay, six o'clock in the morning, let's do this. So I bike with the other, little did I know, road bikes. That little hybrid had nothing. <laughs> that was my first introduction to that. So on that ride, it was, I learned a lot. I learned how to ride in a group. I learned that no matter how hard I pedaled, that hybrid was not gonna keep up with those road bikes. <laughs> going downhill was fun, but still. <laughs> so it was pretty cool. So learning that, I made a lot of connections from that ride and then I just kept going. I immersed myself in a cycling community in Atlanta. So after that ride, I brought my first road bike. I was like, you guys aren't gonna show me up anymore. So I was ready. <laughs> so that's my first road bike. I was so happy for that thing. And then um, I rode it, rode it, rode it, and uh, did a century. And then I started working at a bike shop in Atlanta. So that's just part of me just going in and just loving what I do. And I was like, I just like to learn all different aspects of it. So I wanted to be a mechanic. I just wanted to get my hands dirty. So I started learning how to wrench and taught myself that the little blue book and it's just hands on from there. It's a sales associate. So I learned about a lot of back end and all the different types of bikes. This right here is my most recent, it's my touring bike. So I'm planning on, I have the racks and everything, so I'm gonna take it cross country. But right here is the Beltline in Atlanta. So my thing is, I love Beltlines and trails and bike lanes, but my goal is a culture change because it's the mindset that we need to focus on right now. So it's good we're fighting for bike lanes, but I really just want the culture to change around cycling. I don't want to be looked at as weird when I walk around with my helmet and stuff like that. So that's why I integrate cycling in everything I do. Um, right here is my, me with my community outreach. So part of the thing, Spokes Digital Media, we're a community outreach and grassroots brand. So I reach out to the community and work with a lot of children. I teach them hands-on skills because besides just riding, you can really make a living with the bike. You can, mechanics, I did side work, I made money that way. So it's different ways that you can use a bike to empower yourself. So I like to share that with the neighborhood. And by just sharing that, it's like, you can make money, you can do this, that gets people's attention. And so that's how you explain, like, a bike is fun too. You can do this, it's, you can really have a good time. So that's great that I was able to do that, help the children, I teach a lot of classes. So Relay Bike Share, that's always been in the mix because we are growing now from 500 
um, to 500 bikes, so 100 to 500. So I increased the client's portfolio by 400%, so that's always something good to look forward to. And um, so another thing is a lot of rides. So I incorporate bikes into everything. I bring my helmet inside with me. I go and ride. I talk about bikes to anybody that will listen. Um, I just just start talking about bikes. Like, you know you're supposed to give a cyclist three feet? Just move, go around them. Don't worry about squeezing past. Just go all the way around them. They don't mind. <laughs> so I just try to break it down so people can understand that we're people too, and then uh, it's just our chosen mode of transportation. So I say this because I came a long way. Because before I started biking to work in Virginia, I was this driver annoyed because the cyclist was in my way and the cop and I called them an object. <laughs> I was like, that's not nice. So I was like, why is this, why are they in my way? I just want to get to work. No, I didn't drive close to them, but I still thought he was in my way. So that mindset quickly changed because I believe getting people to ride. So part of having the relay and the good thing about bike share is that you get, you attract a lot of people because they just think the bike looks cool. So you, you say, come on, let's ride. I ain't rode in so long, girl, I can't ride. Yes, you can, you're gonna get on this bike and we're gonna do it and we're gonna have fun. And that's what people love. They love the fun factor. They get on the bike and they're like, whoa, it's been a while, and then they tell everybody. So while they're that excited, you say, tell them about three feet. Tell your family you rode a bike and tell them the bike blows. So get that hype. They're already excited, so while they're telling everybody, it's just gonna spread and spread and spread throughout the community. So it's been a really cool ride. I do a lot of bike events with uh, the local nonprofit, ABC. We do coloring with the children, bike coloring, so we love coloring. <laughs> um, and this, I always make it a point to talk to people. I like to just talk to people. So this guy was actually on the, si on the sidewalk and I ride in the street. So I say, come on now, get on the street with me. No, I've been hit before. And I was, you don't really know what to say, cause like, oh, dang. So it's like, <laughs> like dang. <laughs> you're like, it's going to be a hard sale. <laughs> so, I, um, of course, I'm riding a little bit more, and then next thing I look over, he's rolling down in the street, and I was like, and then I noticed he doesn't have a helmet. I encouraged this man to get off in the sh into the street with me, but he doesn't have a helmet. So, I stayed on the outside, talked to him. I was like, so how is it going? And he told me his bike story. And just like that, I was like, you need to come to our ride next week and hang out with other people that bike. So it's about reaching out, not just getting bicyclists that look like you, but also people that ride for different reasons and on the sidewalk and stuff. So that's why I really love the work that I do because I get to meet different people and just from different backgrounds. And it's like, what are you doing? We're biking and we're gonna have fun, a good time. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then a few more. This is a. She was learning how to ride bikes, learning how to ride. So I caught them out and then I was just encouraging them to keep going. So by the end of the summer, she was good. She was practicing in front of Georgia, Te Georgia uh, Tech. And so she was able to keep practicing on this wide sidewalk that they had. So that's a great story. Um, more of Atlanta in the background. And then another fun thing I did was I installed bike racks in Atlanta. So we have these cool bike rack murals that we installed all over the city. And that was a cool project because it allows you to um, meet people. While I was out, people were like, what are those for? It's like, you can lock your bike up. It looks like artwork. No, use the bike rack, please. So I've been <laughs> roaming around the city taking pictures with my bike locked to it to let people know that, hey, this is a bike rack. You can use it. And it's not just artwork. It's multifunctional. And um, I think greatly appreciate you. So that's my story of how I turned Lemonade. I'm uh, moving from a city without knowing anybody, and I pretty much grew my network through bikes. Uh, everybody is through bikes. I, professional bikes, working bikes. So it just worked that way it's because it's something I love, and I really thought that moving to a city where you didn't know anybody, that was a great way to network and meet people. Thank you.